All right. Uh, joining me now is Dr. Harsh Maharjan. Uh, just to understand how the first day was, because uh, the, the medical fraternity has been very closely watching, and they are, of course, uh, the people on the front line. Dr. Maharjan, thank you so much. My first question to you, sir. You've also been seeing these developments very, very closely. Uh, few hiccups with the COVID app. According to your appreciation, how has day one been of the second phase? I think day one has been tremendous. Uh, the very fact that the Honorable Prime Minister got, got the jab early morning, 7 a.m., uh, that itself will be a game changer because everyone now knows that if the Prime Minister can take the shot, then it is safe and it must be efficacious. And this uh, image of the Prime Minister and other leaders getting the jab, I think, needs to be highlighted, as it has been in the media. This will help uh, a, a lot in overcoming uh, uh, vaccine hesitancy that was there. And if you saw today in most of the hospitals and most of the vaccination centers, there were crowds which started coming right from the morning itself. Yes. And also on the COVID app, in the morning, probably there was so much traffic that there were glitches in the first 45 minutes to an hour, which were later sorted out. And uh, even even hmm. we as doctors, we keep getting calls from friends, from relatives, from patients. And uh, I think we will really be able to exponentially increase the numbers. And we also need to realize as a nation that we are at a very, very important juncture. We are very, very lucky that we as a nation have numbers which have gone down to rock bottom. Of course, we have to be cautious. The numbers seem to be rising yes, a little yes. bit. And at the same time, we are now expanding the ambit of vaccination to those above 60 and those with comorbidities above 45. So th uh, it's a unique uh, uh, moment in okay. the history of this country. Do Dr. Mahajan, you know, as you were mentioning the imagery of the Prime Minister getting the jab early in the morning, other leaders are following as well. Uh, do you think that that is going to arrest or at least have some sort of impact on the vaccine hesitancy that we had seen? Because even in the first phase, uh, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, there have been the targets that were set in by the government as far as the healthcare professions are concerned. Some states have not been able to meet those uh, targets as well. Yeah, those, uh, I think, uh, uh, out of the three crore that we set out to uh, immunize, about 1.5, uh, about 50 percent did show up and the others did not. But, uh, there could be several factors for this. Also, the fact that uh, the number of vaccination centers were limited, which are going to increase exponentially. You'll soon have about mm. 30,000 centers across the country, which can even be uh, increased further. I think the vaccine hesitancy will also be overcome by those amongst the general public who are getting the jab, going out, telling their family, telling their friends that there's no problem. Today, the Honorable Health Minister has said that there's not been a single mm. death from the jab, and this is out of 1.5 crore people who received the jab. So that's saying a lot about yes. safety and efficacy we are doing neutralizing uh, antibody testing and we are finding out that it is also very efficacious and the antibody levels are increasing so i feel that uh, you know this second phase will really galvanize uh, the the population and we have a situation where you know 90 percent of the world's population doesn't even have access to vaccines and here, you know, we are getting phone calls, we are getting reminders. Right, right. So India is in a wonderful position. Uh, Dr. Mahajan, you know, uh, just talking about the two vaccines which are available, Covishield and Covaxin, initially there were some questions as far as Covaxin is concerned. Prime Minister took that vaccine. That possibly would put some questions to rest. But do you believe, sir, that it is also time for our administration, for the government to... Uh, increase the options, get more vaccines uh, in like the Sputnik and others so that the process can be uh, hastened up further. A lot of people from the private sector has been saying that they need to be involved so that we can you know, reach the herd immunity levels faster. 
See, the private sector <clears throat> has been in consultation, in dialogue with the government since uh, early December. In fact, a uh, strategy paper uh, was sent uh, by FIKI and ENY to the government uh, in December. And based on that, this rollout is happening and the other consultations that have happened. The private sector is now completely engaged in the vaccination effort. Regarding your question that there should be more vaccines, definitely there should be and there will be. Already, uh, you know, uh, about eight vaccines have been uh, approved globally. And even in our country, Sputnik V uh, is, uh, has been approved for uh, emergency use. But what we need to realize, and many more are coming, as you know, but what we need to realize that we don't have any shortage of the vaccine at the present point of time. Of course, the manufacturing capacity has to be uh, uh, you know, looked at when you are uh, rolling out the entire vaccination process. But we have vaccines in stock and we can exponentially increase. And you're right, people should have a choice uh, today, actually. Uh, the general public from today onwards has a choice because you can go to any center and based on the uh, center, uh. that center may have Covishield or it may have Covaxin. If you want Covishield, go to a center which is dispensing Covishield. And if you want Covaxin, go to one which has Covaxin. Okay. So even though the centers themselves don't have a choice as to what vaccine they are going to dispense, but the recipient the, the general yes. citizen has a right and has a choice. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, joining us uh, because uh, it is an important day, as you said, and hopefully with the, the VIPs, the Prime Minister leading the way, this is going to end the vaccine hesitancy and very quickly, uh, the, the, you know, more and more people can get vaccinated, more choices are available for people to get vaccinated and we can go back to business as usual as life we knew before COVID-19 hit all of us. Thank you so much, Dr. Mahajan, for sparing the time. With that, uh, we're slipping into a very short break, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everyone. Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.